Hi Mike, this is Marie. I'm calling from H2K Emphasis about a current opening that we have available and wanted to see if you would be available for an interview. Yeah, hi Mary. Uh, yes, I'm very glad to take this interview. Uh, would you be available to discuss this now? Yes, sure, yes, I'm uh, available now. Okay, what we have to offer is the current health project right now and we're looking for a QA tester. Uh, the project is related to patient health care management for hospitals to manage scheduling patient appointments and patient health history. Uh, we'll also gather patient feedback and we need to generate many reports to calculate this data. Okay, is, it sounds very good. Is it okay if I ask you some questions about your QA experience? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's start off with you telling me a little bit about yourself and your background. Yes, uh, hi Mary, yes. Uh, I have been working in this uh, QA field uh, from uh, the past few months. I have been working in uh, right from the beginning uh, in so complete software testing lifecycle by reviewing the requirement documents, developing test plan and test cases, and also preparing the test data by executing SQL queries, validating the uh, reports, executing the uh, uh, test cases, making sure the test cases are passed, if any issues the test cases uh, results, I will make sure the uh, issues and work with the developers and also create the defects and uh, uh, completely work on the uh, defect lifecycle, like create the defect and email to the developer once they fix the defect and I will retest and close the defect. So complete defect lifecycle I, I worked. In my recent project, uh, uh, it's related to the healthcare system where we have a, a health insurance providers uh, basically the doctors uh, contact uh, health insurance providers to submit their claims so that is the project we are, uh, I am currently working on it and we have a uh, group of five people working on this team and we have an automation tester and uh, uh, four manual testers and I'm also working on testing the reports and other things so that is about my current project and experience. That sounds very in line with what we're looking for. Can you explain to me a little bit about how many test cases you're writing per day on your current project? Uh, in my project, you know, based on the requirement, I, uh, on an average, sometimes I may write uh, uh, five test cases. If the requirement is uh, complex, sometimes I may have to test uh, write the test only one or two test cases. Like uh, one of the requirement as very complex. Uh, it is dealing with um, uh, middleware web services and uh, executing some batch jobs and all those. And also it's uh, uh, connecting to reports and uh, generate the report. So in one uh, requirement has connection with multiple uh, interfaces. So where it is a complex requirement, I could able to write only two test cases. But some of the small uh, uh, general uh, requirements, I could able to write 10 to 15 test cases also in a day. Uh, being very efficient in SQL queries and joins is very important to this position. Can you tell me a little bit about your knowledge on that? Yeah, I'm uh, very good at uh, SQL queries uh, as a tester point of view. As a tester, you know, I usually execute in the SQL queries like, you know, select statements, uh, joins, uh, some of the group by class and having class, some of the functions like aggregated function like max, min, count. So those are the uh, things I worked as a testing point of view. I'm pretty comfortable because we have a reports where we need to compare uh, reports with a backend database, make sure the report is generated properly. That's why I'm comfortable uh, writing self statements, SQL queries. Uh, to test a little bit about your knowledge on SQL queries and joins, if it's okay, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Uh, would you be able to tell me the difference between an inner join and an outer join? Yeah, sure. Basically, in the inner join, uh, if the inner join keywords basically returns all the rows where at least there is one match from both tables. For example, if the uh, employee table and department table. If the employee table uh, contains uh, employee number one to uh, department number one uh, ten, and uh, department table uh, contains department ten, that means this in both tables there is a one match. So if you have inner join, uh, the inner join uh, select statement the returns rows where there is at least one match in both tables. So another example, let's say we have a 
patient table and uh, insurance uh, 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 doctor uh, sorry there is a couple of tables let's say uh, patient uh, info table and a billing info table in patient info table has a patient id and a billing address and billing info table has uh, uh, again patient id and uh, claim number and other other information so here you know patient info table and billing info table both has uh, uh, rows like you know patient id in both tables let's say patient id 1 patient id 2 and 3 so when i am using inner join like um, select uh, patient id from patient info comma uh, inner join uh, billing info on patient info dot patient id equal to billing info dot patient id then it will return uh, the rows where there is at least one match in both tables if the match in if the uh, patient id column is avail value available in both tables matching with both tables then the value will be written if there is no match it won't return any data that is especially in the inner join so if we say like you no know, outer join there are two couple of different outer joins like left outer join and right outer join so in uh, left outer join if you are we are in the left join the key, keyword is called a left join so for example if you are in select uh, uh, column columns column names like column 1 column 2 from table 1 left join table 2 on table 1 dot column name equal to table 2 dot column name so in this uh, uh, left outer join basically it returns all the rows from the left table even there are no matches in the right table so that is the main difference between inner join and uh, outer join outer join even returns the data even there is no match in the uh, second table or uh, left table in inner join there should be at least one match in both tables that is the main uh, difference between inner and outer join very good in the instance that you would need to identify duplicate values in a column how would one go about doing that uh sorry can you repeat that question again sure in the instance that you would need to identify duplicate values in a column how would one go about doing that so duplicate value in the sense uh, uh, for example if you take a uh, employee name so in a employee table we have multiple employee names or similar names the mike john mary uh, there are multiple uh, names but uh, we want to find out how many duplicate names in that particular table so is that correct correct okay so basically we can use this uh, two things in this uh, uh, select statement we can use one one is group by call, uh, class and also we have to use another class called having class so let's uh, take uh, as we give an example employee table and employee names we want to count uh, each employee name how many times it is repeated let's say mike or repeated two times or john repeated five times so we want to find out how many times each name is repeated duplicates so in this case we can use this uh, statement like select employee name comma count of employee name as a number of times you can say that is alias name for count of employee name from employee group by employee name having count of employee name greater than 1 here we are using having because uh, we want to find out the aggregate function count if the count is greater than 1 then only we want to find uh, if the duplicate is exist or not if this count uh, count of the employee name is uh, uh, equal to 1 or less uh, 1 that means we don't need to find the duplicate so here if you want to find the uh, duplicate names then we can use group by the group by employee name having a count of employee name greater than 1 so that will return the each employee name and uh, how many times the employee name is repeated very good and when you come to when you when it comes to validation and you have 1000 rows in one report how do you go about validating the 1000 rows in the report so you mean uh, 
in a report we have like a thousand rows and we want to find out uh, how do we validate correct. Is that correct correct okay but uh, may you know how the report is generated is it from database or from files or files and database okay so let's assume uh, if we have uh, uh, if the report is generated from database that means uh, there might be some query is written to validate the uh, generate the report so there are couple of ways we can uh, validate the report i can write the query like you know let's say if the report says uh, how many uh, reports are submitted how many uh, let's say we have a doctors and uh, claims how many claims are reported by particular doctor that is the report you are you want to validate so we have like two tables let's say uh, doc, uh, doctor info and uh, billing info there are a couple of tables then i may write some query uh, to retrieve the data from a uh, table both tables and write into an excel file export the data into excel file and same thing what are the report is on the report to screen i will also export that report to excel file and there are some tools called compare uh, compare files there are a lot of tools available in the uh, market where we can compare two different files so right now i have a two files like one is i wrote the query in the database to retrieve the data for the particular report and i export that uh, uh, output from the database to excel file i have one excel file one and uh, actual report on the report on the user interface i i copy and uh, uh, paste into excel file again or there is some uh, if any way we can export that report from the ui i can export to the excel file again so i have like two excel files from two different sources one is uh, from the database i retrieved by writing uh, sql query and another report that was generated by application so using this compare uh, file comparison file uh, tool i will upload these two files and uh, this tool will give me the comparison it will give the results of the difference if any difference found it will show the difference because we, uh, there are like thousand rows and if you want to do manual comparison we may we might not uh, able to compare manually thousand rows and uh, if you want to do one row by row it may take a lot of time so my approach is by exporting these two different uh, so, uh, data from two different uh, resources to two different files and uh, use the tools like file compare tools to compare these two files that is one way to compare complete all, all thousand rows and also i will do uh, simple queries like let's say select a star from doctor info table uh, where uh, where the date equal to sis date this date means current date so today's uh, uh, rows i will find out and i will manually compare few rows on the report make sure that report is having this data and also i, I may do something like let's say uh, select count of star from doctor info where uh, current uh, this date current date equal to this date or report date equal to this date then i will get a number of count and i will make sure we have a uh, that particular number number of rows available displaying on the report so there are uh, basically most of the time we have to execute sql queries get the data compare manually with the uh, actual report also we use some file comparison tools to compare the data between report and actual query from the database very good answer mike thank you very much for doing the interview and based on your answers in the discussion that we had today it seems that you're more than qualified for the position and i will be in touch with you if i need anything further Yeah thank you so much Mary I really appreciate for your call and uh, I'm looking forward to hear from you thank you so much goodbye thank you